What's up, Nzanzi? I'm Nevermind, and this is Queen Football. <laughs> South Africa just got third position on the Kasafa Cup after beating Malawi on penalties 5 3. So, this is actually the third time these two teams are going head to head, and they always ended up on penalty shootouts. Last time they met was in 2019, Kasafa Cup, where South Africa won again on penalties. So anytime if you want to, to bet against the South Africa Malawi, just know that they are going to go on penalties. Just like what happened in the game against Malawi, Kapinga is seriously in need of game time. So that is why he's opting to move to either Kaiser Chiefs or Amanda Pirates in the next season to follow. He still does decide. He has left all this decision to the agent for now. Uh, until he goes back to Jobek as he mentioned in the interview. So we'll wait until he gets to that point. So if Kapinga is to move on to Orlando Pirates, he will face fierce competition in midfield because Orlando Pirates is stacked with a 40-man squad. In midfield, he will face competitions from Goodman, Mosele, Tabang, Monare and Fortune Makaringe. So we are wondering now if he's to move to Orlando Pirates, where would he suit to play? And again with Kaiser Chiefs, the same story, they have got a 37-man team. So we wonder if he's to go there, who is he going to replace? With the new additions, Ole Modi, Elson Castillo, and we have Ndatani, and also to mention Potani. So obviously all those players are willing or they want to, to play. So now, is he good enough to make that move into midfield without the others, uh, you know, uh, with the other others, uh, you know, uh, taking his spot? Is he that good? If obviously in Mamundi Soundon was already struggling to get game time, so what is making that difference for him to move into that big, those two big teams? So obviously we know that the uh, Kaiser Chiefs and the Orlando Pirates are not those big, big, big uh, teams. Uh, sorry to say that, but they are not of that quality uh, that we used to see back then. So we're just wondering now, even though they are not of quality, they are still big teams. So it will be very hard for any newcomer to just come push himself into the starting level. But we have hope. Last season, he only managed to, to get six games, which was five games uh, in the PSL uh, and one game in the Netbank Cup, where he only scored, I don't know, he didn't score, sorry, he didn't score any goals, but he assisted twice in the Netbank uh, Cup. With Kaiser Chiefs already struggling with goals and the, with the Kapinga uh, assisting only two without scoring in the past six games he played, which were the only ones he played last season. So is he going to give that, uh, you know, that additional uh, goals uh, dummy? How is he going to cope with the struggling Kaiser Chiefs when it comes to go there? I mean, the Kaiser Chiefs actually ranked eighth when it comes to scoring in the whole of the last season in the league. So they actually need to sign players who are able to score, not only create, but also score. Because what is the point of creating chances where there's no one to finish those chances? At the same time with the uh, Orlando Pirates, uh, it's almost the same story, but at least with Orlando Pirates, they've, they've got a bit of a, a bit something, even though they can balance, they balance the whole situation, whereby if they don't score, at least they defend uh, enough for them to win games. So they say, uh, what? They always say that the goals can win you a match, but defense can win you uh, the cup or the season. So. We talk about which of the two teams he will be more suited to. We know Mamadi Sandons is more of a, like a Spanish team. They play Tiki Taka. So is he going to adapt well in Kaiser Chiefs or Orlando Pirates? Looking at his game style, he's more suited to this the one to get the ball quickly distribute. So with the Kaiser Chiefs more of playing these diagonal passes and vertical passes, I'm not sure he'll be suited to that kind of play, but you never know. With the Orlando Pirates, they are more of position uh, game. They like this position where they hold the ball, they pass, pass, and then quickly attack. So I'm thinking, in my opinion, or oh, I would rather he go to Orlando Pirates because his game is there. But if he is used to playing for Mamalogi Sundowns, eh? if you're already used to playing for a big team, 
Uh, sorry again, I'm not saying a lot of pirates and other chiefs are a small team. Uh, no, I'm just saying if you're already used to playing at that certain level, it will be a bit easier for you to adapt to a new environments such as now Kaiser Chiefs or Orlando Pirates. But that is just up to me. So I want you guys to comment down below to suggest or give opinions of yourself which of the two teams you would uh, likely want him to see. Yes, Orlando Pirates is uh, the best option for him, but I'm more likely to see him going to Kaiser Chiefs. And I don't know why, for some real reason, uh, we are signing older players at this time instead of giving the youth uh, their chances. But it's my opinion. So I want you guys to say, as I mentioned, comment down below and suggest or uh, give your opinion on the topic. Please like and subscribe and also turn on your notification so anytime I'm to uh, post a video which will be most likely almost every day, hopefully almost every day. So I want us to at least hit 1,000 subs by the end of this month.